Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Will and Deshaun Show. I am your boy, Will, and I'm here with my co-host. Deshaun. Deshaun, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. So today, guys, we want to talk to you about gay baiting. What is gay baiting, Deshaun? I think gay baiting is when a guy who has a who's perceived to be straight, who says he's straight, um, basically does things to get gay guys' attention, and he's doing it purposely to get gay guys' attention. All while not sleeping with gay men? By claiming he's straight, yeah. That's oh, his okay. whole He's straight. Key he word, straight. by claiming he's straight. Exactly. So we have a couple of Instagram celebrities who does this a lot. A couple. Oh, shit, what a lot. All of them. <laughs> well, well, how do you feel about straight men who gay bait gay men, who bait gay men to liking them in a sexual way, knowing that they allegedly may or may not have sex with them? Uh, I think it's whack. I think that you're playing the community. Um, I think it's also whack on the community's part to uplift these people because when you're liking their pics and you're following them and... But is there anything wrong with liking an attractive man's photo? I don't think there's nothing wrong with liking an attractive man's photo. If they allow you to, would you rather them be that whole for women only on their pictures I don't, be very homophobic? It's one thing to say for women only. It's another thing to do things to attract gay people. Also, like you're hosting gay events, you're, you're targeting gay. I think that's different than okay. you just being an attractive person and you on Instagram. So do you think, well, I'll use Tank for instance. Tank did gay pride a couple of years ago. Do you think Tank was targeting gays? Yeah. Okay. Do you think Tank is a ally to the gays? I think Tank is an ally because I think Tank is constantly defending gays. Okay. You know, I think a lot Unlike of, these uh, other exactly. They're Instagram been, celebrities. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know, and I think the reason Tank was invited to Pride to perform is because he has, you know, defended gays in different ways. That's how I feel. Yeah, he also has a lesbian artist that he uh, that's signed to him as well. Um, the thing is, here's the thing, what I don't like. You know, just like those sip and paint parties where they ha they are very, they're doing a lot. For, for a man to be heterosexual, who are allowing gay men to grab their penises, Slot. grab their ass? They are they are humping the, the gay man. They are letting the gay man hump them, but yet you're heterosexual. Right. Now it's the difference between being a heterosexual ally than basically being gay for pay. Okay. Because in these cases where these men are basically baiting these guys because they know that they're attractive. Because they are masculine, allegedly straight men mm -hmm. who, who have nice bodies, they're very physically attractive, and they are someone who a gay man would want to sleep with. But yet, they would never really take it all the way. But they're going to use you to get your money. And I think that's what a lot of them do. They give you the fantasy so much so that, especially with the sip and paint parties, that y'all have totally went all the way like you're doing very bisexual behavior for someone who says they're straight right. i don't really know a lot of heterosexual men who even are comfortable with their sexuality and and who are comfortable with gay men who are allowing other men that's, to touch their penises that's and lie. their yeah. butts yeah that's, that's so i technically don't think you're it's almost right. like you're whoring yourself out. You basically, yeah. they are. They, it's for the money. Yeah. It's like that's how women, some women will sleep with other women for the money. Yeah, you're yeah, definitely. They gay for pay. Yeah, it's gay for pay all day. I, that's what it is. Okay. Like the other, like the Queen Naja boyfriend who's always showing his meat print and his cakes right. to the to the gay boys, and the yeah. gay boys be all in your. And I'm not saying that that that. Because at the end of the day, if you want to be naked and you want to show your body that you're working hard on, by all means, you have the right to do so. But here's the thing. When, again, when you are semi-flirting with the boys back right, and forth. Right, exactly. You know, it's different because at the end of the day, people going to, they're going to, gay people, straight people, whoever, are going to say something in your comments. They might slide in your DMs and you're a butt or a dick pic, you know, depending on how they how they get down. You know, and it's okay because I, what I don't like is when a lot of these guys do that, but then they go around and try to bash and be like, I'm so sick of you niggas sending me dick pics or ass pics in my DMs. I'm straight. Stop sending me this. 
or you being very homophobic. You can you can let somebody know say thank you for admiring me, guys, but I'm straight. You know, I would appreciate if you would respect me. I don't have no problem with you liking my photos, but I would appreciate if you respect me. But some of them, you, we either get the one extreme where, they, like you said, they kind of giving that flirty banter back and forth with the gay guys, or you get the very homophobic, like, no homo, straight for men, I'm sick of y'all niggas, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Right. And my thing is, if you're gonna make money off of it, you should, you should be some type of ally. You should do some type of, Just like, to me, a white person who makes money off... Of, it's like exploitation in a way. Like a white person who makes money off of a black culture in some kind of way. I feel like... That's all the time. Exactly. And that's and don't they get called out for it? Y'all are exploiting the culture. Why uh-huh. y'all supporting the business? They don't support us. I feel like it should be the same way with gay and straight stuff. True, because there are a couple of celebrities who have been booked for a prize or hosting club parties based on them being conventionally sexually attracted to what gay men like exactly. but all around really saying i'm not gay right so if you're not gay like why not just stick to straight because stuff you, like how you're not gay but you stay showing your you always got your butt out because you know you have a really nice butt right now mind you most straight i don't know too many straight men who count because you know we know a lot of football players and athletes they have nice butts but they don't really be advertising their butts like that. Most straight men—they're not men, selling ass. So they're not right. selling ass, right? Basically. Most straight men selling give they give you straight dick print. You know what I'm saying? Right. They ain't giving you ass. But this one in particular person, uh, Instagram person, he really focuses on his ass. He has a really nice butt. Now, does he claim he's straight? Yes, he say he's straight. He say he's not bisexual. He's not pansexual. He say he's heterosexual, and he shows his butt. And he also shows his butthole. That's a lie. He has a whole book called Cake. That's a Where there's lie. pictures of his butt. Beautiful butt it is. That's, that's just a But, it, but to me, like butt, I said, butt. you're, but you say you're not gay. No, nigga, you gay. You need to be bisexual at and the my most. thing is, if you're not, then why come and make money off of it? That also goes, this is the thing, and this is outside of Instagram, the trade who's, the straight man who sag. Who are you sagging for? Women ain't looking at your ass. Niggas is looking at your ass. So do you think they're sagging for guys? Yep. That, but you know, of course, when we find out where that where that um, thing comes from, that comes from prison mm-hmm. culture, and of course, the prisoners will sag for other men. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's out because celebrities start doing it, and now all the straight men start doing it because that's how the celebrities look. But I don't think the common straight guy is necessarily sagging for guys. They're, I don't know. They're not sagging for guys, but at the end of the day, women ain't looking at your ass. It's like a style that has just kind of been picked up. It is, yeah. but why is your booty out? Because that's how they dress. Who are you advertising this booty to? I don't think they're advertising. I think that's just how they dress. They advertise that ass to me. Well, well already then. Somebody's taking it as an advertisement. Okay? Absolutely, because women are not looking at it. Yeah, I ain't gonna like. I'm not gonna say that women don't like ass. But women ain't like, ooh, he got a fat ass. They ain't saying that like that. Niggas be like, ooh, well, he got a fat ass. Maybe a straight guy isn't concerned with who's looking at his ass. But why have it out? Well, he's not concerned with it. So having it out or not out is not his concern. He's not even thinking about his ass. Okay. Versus his, now if he's on Instagram selling his ass, taking pictures as of his a, ass as pr- out. Premiering your, right. your ass and your asshole right. and meat. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother thing, exactly. But um, you know, I just think. Do you think it's our fault as gay people? Do you think we should just like people say, well, it's black people' fault for continue to support these, you know, corporations? Do you think it's gay people' fault for continuing to support? Yep, and gay people are very highly sexual, and they they're giving their fantasy. Gay men in particular. Yeah, they're get they're. They're getting their fantasy and they're providing their fantasy. Again, like I said, like it's just like strippers. Mm-hmm. You know, some strippers are some strippers get totally naked and dance and provide that fantasy. Then some don't. They just have maybe have like a bikini or whatever. But they're not really necessarily into that particular man. They just doing this for the money. And I think that's exactly the guys who gay bait do the same thing. You know, it's very interesting how this is only kind of a gay guy thing. Because usually when gay girls kind of... If a girl was to advertise herself to a girl, she'd just say, Oh, I'm bisexual. I, I do whatever. Yeah. It, yeah. And lie. Yeah. And, right. And lie like they're bisexual right. to get their money. Right. Either lie or actually be... Bisexual. Know, willing, yeah. 
but like I said, are willing to do though. Right. And I'm not saying that none of these guys have never done anything. I don't know. I'm just going by what they say. I, right. We just Apparently, based it yeah. off what they particularly say, but I, I think, think it also kind of speaks to. Do you think this speaks to how the black community is still very homophobic in a, in a way? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, because again, that goes back to the whole Tank situation when Tank spoke about, you know, the person giving head is, may not be gay just because he gave head twice. Um, it doesn't necessarily, necessarily make you, mean you gay. Like, uh, people are not allowed to be sexually fluid or have fluidity within sexuality because sexuality is a spectrum. Right. But here's the thing, you cannot dibble and dabble but then be like, no, I ain't gay. Again, it's the difference between you might have had an experience with a guy, mm-hmm. and you know what? I, that's not for me. I'm straight. But when you're constantly soliciting mm-hmm. and you're baiting and you're targeting, and you know what your target artist, uh, your target uh, audience. audience is. Thank right. you. Because you get these analytics on your on these social medias, and they tell you. The ages, they tell you, they'll give you break down gender as well. They'll break down. I mean, you can simply look at your comments. Thank you. You know who's talking to you. You know who's saying, oh, he's sexy. Oh, he got nice ass. You know who in your DMs. Exactly. And then you're doing more of that based off of the attention you got. Absolutely. Because now you're getting booked for gay prides. You're getting booked for gay clubs. Mm-hmm. And you might not necessarily care. You go, go to the gay club or gay booking. And you'd be there for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. You didn't got your money and you didn't hit it. Right. Um, do you think this also speaks to the fantasy of a masculine guy? Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's is absolutely that's exactly what it is. Right. Because I will say this. Every man that's gay baiting is all, they're all masculine. Right. There's not no effeminate gay. Effeminate. I mean, that wouldn't be gay baiting. That right. would just be him loving his <laughs> That's just him being gay, right? I can't. But there, there's, there's some men who have some kind of like femininity who's not gay yeah they're softer guys they're, they're not straight they're not going out the softer guys they're going after these traditionally athletic football stereotypical basketball stereotypical straight looking men right exactly those are the ones who are baiting mm. hmm. interesting is there a particular man on the gram that straight that you kind of like pay attention to um I'm not gonna say them names but they're guys and they don't necessarily bait I just think they're cute. Okay. Yeah, but they don't like they live their regular straight life, and I just think they're cute. They're not they targeting. Attention. But yeah, it's they they have not gained an audience, and they now are. This is their job. This is what they do. Right, but for me, it's just regular people though. They're not like being naked on the ground or doing nothing. I just was like, oh, he's cute. I'm gonna follow him. It was kind of like that right. for me. And he just happened to be straight. You know, I follow a lot of trainers. Right. And, and a lot yeah. of them are straight. Right. And a lot of them are not baiting right and a lot of them be in their draws and they be in they little tights or whatever all the time because a lot of them are like bodybuilders and you know the bodybuilder sees them be coming up in these competitions so you see them then the neck and almost mm-hmm. but they're not to me they're not baiting right and I, like we're not saying that they're not just because a guy me, is, they're not giving me flirty banter right exactly just because a guy is you know underdressed not even underdressed but like naked, on the, ground. naked on the ground means that he's baiting you know that's not what I'm saying at all. It's like people who do it know what they're doing. Yes. Exactly. Like, yeah. They purposely do these things. Exactly. They they might not have done it. They might have not made this their attentions in the beginning when they first started. Mm-hmm. But they they saw the audience and the attention that they started and they getting and they continue to do it. And now they're making a living off of it. Right, exactly. Exactly. Right. I eat OnlyFans. Right. How do you feel about OnlyFans? Woo. How you feel when a straight guy gets only fans and like is it wrong for him to get his coin? No, nope. get your money. Right. But because it's not too many people, I will, I'll be honest with you. Because you, ha- we all have Twitter, mm-hmm. and Twitter before before Twitter there was Tumblr, and when the people, especially when OnlyFans first came out, everybody um stuff was popping up on Tumblr. You be like, ooh, they got OnlyFans. Ooh, they got all-. you like, ooh, you want to see what they look? You know, you want to see see what they give it. But now, the thing about OnlyFans is that people want to pay to see you naked or to see you doing whatever in the video or to see you even do like sexually um, sexually sexual things. By all means, get your money. 
You know, I'm not knocking it. It's a new form of prostitution. Yeah. Without actually, it's like you know what it is. It's it's, it's, it's having a cam show without having a live web web cam show like mm-hmm. they used to. You know, and but I say this: if I were to do a OnlyFans, I'm held like on a mask or something. You're gonna be seeing my face. You're never gonna know it's me. Right. Period. These people who have their face and everything on these OnlyFans sites, like, ooh, like, what kind of work y'all gonna do be doing? OnlyFans. OnlyFans can only last for so long because the government can shut that down. Your OnlyFans is all you gonna only do. But what's what's gonna happen when they shut OnlyFans down? I don't know. They're just like when back pages and all these other things got bro- towed down. Well, what I guess it'll do? be a new thing you have to jump on. They'll cross that bridge when they get there. True. Basically. Because I always feel well, sex work is work. And sex work making a lot of money. Because low key, high key, all T, they getting them, they getting banked. Somebody, and it is not just, this is just not guys. Oh, a lot of females of got course it's fans, not just guys. And the guys. females are really racking up. Of course it's not just guys. Um, you know that's not my lane. But you know what? If that's what whoever wants to do. Even if Will says to me tomorrow, he's like, you know what, Deshaun, I'm going to stop my only fan page. I ain't going to tell him. By all means. <laughs> just, just you be like, like, wait, it, I, I know that couch. <laughs> I know that sofa. <laughs> and like, oh. <laughs> you know what ah! Right? <laughs> it's like, what about one of your friends pop up on your pop up on only face? You're like, wait a minute. Like, on your timeline, and you see they use <laughs> for their only face, you're like, oh. That's like, oh my God, no, Fred, but get your money. I am not here to judge. I'm not either, but get your money. Right, okay. But anyway, I digress. So, and all in all, do you feel it's right for straight men to bait gay men? No. I agree. I don't think it's right. I think it's wack. Especially if you're not going to go all the way. I think it's wack. I think it's fair. And don't use me for my money and you're not going to, you're not going to, it isn't even about the sex thing for me. Because a lot of these guys are very attractive. Right. And if they were to give me the time of the day, I would definitely try to date one of them. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want you playing and stringing me along like you like me and you really don't. And my thing is, it's, I feel like at that point you have fans. And you should always give back to your fans in some kind of way. You should, like, if you're going to get... If I, if a community that I didn't know was into me, let's say Latino people. Let's say Latino people, for some reason, I did something and they started to be interested in me for mm-hmm. some reason. And I took note of it. I would start to say, you know what? Latino people are inter- interested in me. I would pay a little bit more attention to their issues. You know, I'm a, like, I would have to be an advocate for them because you have changed my life. Mm-hmm. You have helped me. You have put money in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you've done something for me. So, and that's how I feel. It's Based like, on just using me and act like you like me for my money. Right, but yeah, based off me. Because yeah, it's, it's very like prostitution to me. It's like it's just like the, the, whole, it's the whole thing of like with strippers and stuff like this. Like you selling me the fantasy, right? Which I get it. And see, here's the thing: when I know you selling me the fantasy, I know what that is. Right. I'm not expecting more from you. They try to start on that line. They do. They do. Um, jump the fence. They straddle yeah. the fence. They definitely do that. But here's the thing: that that person who's getting into that or or being lured in by the bait. Need to know that you're just being baited, right? And you're not, cause you. This is what happened a lot with um, people at the gym as well. Mm. Oh, okay, they bait at the gym. Oh yes, they bait at the gym. Oh wow. You know these quote unquote trainers. Mm-hmm. They bait a lot of these guys at the gym, but then they be the first one to want to do something homophobic. Why would they bait you at the gym? Cause they know guys like them. Mm-hmm. They like their attention. They like their attention. Mm-hmm. Very narcissistic. I can see that because all I, these people who do these things like that are a like is attention. Yeah, yeah. A view is attention. Yeah, those come. That's all. So when you're yeah. these people who are selling all this stuff, they're very, this, this this is nothing but class A narcissism. Yeah, most definitely. Because now you're getting all this attention from Instagram in general, general, really and truly. It's narcissism, right? So, absolutely. So these guys, they kind of like they know you be watching them. They know you like them. So they 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 gave bait you. They give you the. You know, they give you the whole rub against. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never get. You might not get the whole full Monty, but you can get. You'll get the, like the rub against that may bump into. You know that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Cause these guys know they be doing stuff like that. Look at this whole new barber situations. You know, but well, even though this boy is gay, who's the new bar? Who is the new barber? That's so interesting. But he's he's giving the people the fantasy, right? Because a lot of people have fantasy about 
sleeping with their barbers. Because you, everybody, like, when the trade barber then brushes meet across your shoulder or maybe across your arm, mm-hmm. some of them, if you have an attractive barber, you know, people like that fantasy. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. People like the fantasy, so. Hey, uh, new uh, cleaning, people yeah. coming to your house. And they've been doing that forever. For right. New massages, so people are fulfilling a fantasy. But that's, that's the, difference. the difference is people need to know that this is just fantasy. And it's wrong for people. I feel like it's wrong to lead someone on when you know you really don't like them. But at the end of the day, I'm not knocking nobody how to get their money. Right. But anyway, what do y'all think about everything we saying? About the straight guys who claim they're straight, allegedly straight, quote unquote straight, who bait gay people on the gram and in other areas of life for monetary gain or just for attention. What do you think about it? Have you ever been baited? Right. Have you ever paid for sex? Or are you the baiter? Or are you the baiter? Right. Let me now. I would definitely like to know the baiter's um, um, interpretation. I like to hear that side of the story. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.